Kyle Field, home to the Texas A&M Aggies, the Corps of Cadets, the world-famous 12th man, Lady Reveille, and from early indications, a whole throng of Aggies ready to make some noise. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number 10 team in the country, the Missouri Tigers, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Texas A&M Aggies. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. Texas A&M about to boot it away to start this game. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. So the Missouri Tigers will be in a hole thanks to that short return. Sometimes you sense that what the kids call swagger is a false bravado. This dude is nothing but real at wide receiver. Yeah, he's got that speed, and it just, you see DBs, they're probably watching him come on the field right now, and they understand it's going to be a long game. This guy can go get it. He can run. He can do a little bit of everything at the wide receiver spot. They've got him penned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. He leaves it with the back. Hard running there. They still can't get him down. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. You want to settle everybody in on the road? You want to take the nerves away? Run the football. Really, really good job. The offensive line, they're physical and nasty. They're not nervous. They're not worried about this crowd getting loud. They just want to hit you right in the mouth, and they started the game off with some good physicality. Out of the gun, the inside handoff, looking for a crease. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. This crowd bringing the energy and noise early. Back to pass, it's Cook. Looking to scramble. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. And the big defensive tackle getting off the rock. Nice job seeing play action, understand his pass, beats the guard, gets to the quarterback, and gets the QB on the ground. It'll take some work to get to the sticks. It's third and long from the 30. From the gun, wants to pass. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And they didn't have to blitz. They brought the dime package, more speed on the field so we can cover in the back end, and then let the D-line do what great D-line do. So Missouri will have to punt it away. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Slips through the line. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Aggies' offense has the ball for the first time. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football at a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that cornerback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass, but he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They go right back to it. He just slips and slides his way down to the 42.
Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Looking downfield, it's Wegman. He unleashes a long one. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. Great play by the defensive back, showing you his variety of skills. His ability to turn the hips, his speed running downfield, turning his head to locate the football and then swatting it away. You just can't do it better. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds, and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Looking for space, it's Carroll. He kept those legs moving, got three out to the 19. Got three on first down, it's second and seven. They try to pop a run on the draw. Nifty run there, pick up of six out through the 25. Effective draw plays in the running game really begin with the quarterback. The quarterback's got to be a great sailor. you got to really make the defense think it's pass. You keep your eyes focused downfield till the last possible second turn around and hand it off. And by that point, the defensive ends have rushed way upfield, and there's less bodies for the running backs to have to maneuver around before finally moving forward. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense sticking to the run. Nice job getting the first down. Just when they're looking run, now up top. And that's a mistake you don't expect to see from a senior, and he is lucky to get it back. It's pretty clear he didn't care about the double coverage. He thought his guy was better than their two guys. Well, and there's reason to think that. That dude's a stud, and, and I understand it. I, I want to find ways to get him the football, but when it's two on one, I might think about looking somewhere else. Looking to throw, it's Cook. This one's complete. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. They'll try to get the first through the air. Got his man on the right. They'll move the chains. Good execution on third down. They've got it at the 41. Well, that's a huge completion on third down. And David, he was double covered. I mean, what do you do if, as a coordinator moving forward now trying to stop this guy from making plays? I can't tell you how frustrating that is. I, I got two on him. Like, I, I'm sending resources to stop this guy, and he's still making plays. You got to get more pressure on the quarterback. You got to disguise. You got to do something. But apparently that guy, you can't cover him, even with two. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Leaves it with the back. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Quarterback adapting. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Oh, it's just so frustrating on the defense. I mean, you got, you got great initial coverage. You understand third and short. The ball might come out fast, and then what does the quarterback do? Scrambles around, buys time, gets the first down pretty easily. Now you got a new fresh set of downs and a new fresh set of problems. They go to the draw. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. 
The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. They'll give it to the back. Powers through the defender. And he'll go down, but he delivered the business end of his stiff arm to that defender on the way. You know, you start day one of training camp running your base runs. You need a few yards, you run these plays. You need a first down, you run these plays. You rep them over and over and over again. Not sexy, or not pretty, but in the end, they're effective, and they get you that new set of downs when you need them. They go to the ground. Not a lot of daylight there. Let's give him one to the 14. Going to work in the red zone, they can pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Not a lot of room down here. He's able to pick up two. It's down at the 12. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. To throw, it's Cook. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Well, third and short, the offense dials up the screen, expecting the pass rush to come upfield man-to-man, -man, but it just simply does not work. Defense stays home, and they force the incompletion. And here comes the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. After that last field goal drive, they're set to kick it away. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here's the handoff. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Blasted as he lets it go. He's got it. Really good job to pick up a chunk of yardage and get it out to the 39-yard line. The number one goal as a defense is try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him, but nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll leave it with him. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Takes a handoff. It's Moss. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Looking to throw for it. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they wanted it all on third down, but now dealing with fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. 
Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Second time today they've been forced to punt. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. And generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Well, I think the quarterback was trying to push that ball deep down the field. Nobody was open, though, so he finds his fullback for a short game. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Running back searching for a hole. Nice move to keep moving. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to throw. It's Cook. Now he's going to break the pocket. They make the stop, but what a job on the scramble to get loose and pick up that first down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. The Tigers have this offense rolling. The give to the tailback. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll go to the ground. Jumped on top of the pile. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. They'll run for it on third and short. That'll be enough for the first down as they stop him at the 43-yard line. That is how it's done on third down and short. A no doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time, the offense got the better of the D. Easily picked that up. Mizzou coming out with a fresh set of downs. Might as well give it to him again. Running with power. And you can see the offense just feeling itself. They've got it down to the 21. When you talk about creating big plays in the running game like this, this makes the game really easy. Actually, when you've got a guy like this that you can hand it to with this much speed and elusiveness, just hard to bring down in the open field. What a big game for the offense. It'll be a draw. Bulls his way forward. They make the stop after a pickup of three. Ball's at the 18. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. They'll run it in the red zone. It's Carroll. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. That's the end of the quarter, and Missouri has the lead. One period in the books, and let's take a look at the stats.
They've switched into the field, and we're ready to get things started here in the second. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. Looking to pass. It's Cook. On the run, still looking. The quarterback bought as much time as he could, but the defense got to him and sacked him. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit, they were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. And this kicker might be feeling it. He made one earlier, now from 49 yards out. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Takes this handoff and headed to the right. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19, give him one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a man. It's Wegman. Finds his big tight end. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. This is a tight end that not only is going to play with his hand in the ground, but he can line up in the slot as well and attack the defense vertically. He's too fast for linebackers to cover, and he's too big for DBs to cover. He's a real weapon in this offense. The offense lines up at the 40. They've got a first down. They'll leave it with the lone back. Continuing to turn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. They go to the counter. Looks as if Texas A&M will have enough for the first down foundation of Aggie football built on toughness like that running it like John David Crow back in the day and those Texas people are tough and rugged and you know they wear their great outfits that you love to watch but these these Aggies I think they're at their best when they got great running backs and you've seen Spiller and a chain in recent history finding those game breakers those game busters that can make big plays crosses the 30 he's got away and they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. Well, I love that play call. This offense is going to run the football. They're not just going to do it between the tackles, but they're going to attack you outside. You saw that with that handoff. They get to the right. They get him in space using his speed. Good play call. Texas A&M going quickly. Trying to cap this drive with a pass. He's got him still on his feet. Stopped at the three, but it'll be enough to give them a first and goal. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. It's first and goal as Texas A&M comes to the line. Trying to punch it in. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two.
Now the offense tries to punch it in on second and goal. Trying to barge their way in. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And this offense, you're halfway home. All you got to do is do the same exact thing, Palmer. Fall forward and be physical here. And that's why they practice these goal line situations, right? It's to step up and be physical in moments like this. Will they be able to get that one more yard and stick it in here? And he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top by one. They go 83 yards on the drive, and they capped it off with a one-yard punch. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Coming out with it, it's Johnson. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They've had a couple of productive drives, but they've had to settle for field goals in two of their three previous possessions, Jesse. Yeah, this is an offense that takes a lot of pride in execution, and they feel like they should have scored a touchdown every single drive. So while it's been good, not great, David, just execute a little bit better, and they can put this one in the end zone this time. Yeah, and I think you point that out. We went all the way down the field on two of our first three drives and got field goals. Now, just a little better execution when, you, when that field starts to shrink and it gets a little bit more difficult. They'll ride the hot hand. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game running the football. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. They've got it to the 49-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Wow, the running back there showing you his skill set as he's able to rip off that one for a first down. Missouri really moving on offense, set up with another first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Power football with the run. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Missouri has it ready to go with another first down. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Yeah, and this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards on the day. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. The give to the back. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33.
They've controlled the football on this drive. The eighth play will be a third and three. Now they'll run the draw. They are on the move as they pick up the first down. They'll spot it at the 28. Draws and screens are a great way to slow down really aggressive pass rushers. It allows the defensive ends and the defensive tackles to run upfield. The offensive linemen kind of push them upfield, go down to the next level, try to sneak in a big play. Looking for room, it's Carroll. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. That has got to be demoralizing if you're on defense because they just ran the ball right up the middle, down your throat, and they gashed you. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The give to the back. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short in your infield goal range. What do you do here? So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And it's right down the boulevard. And with that field goal, they now have the lead. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. On the move. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Now the play fake. He'll take a deep shot here. He's got it on the right. Open runway ahead. And a pickup of better than 30 yards on that completion before the defense brings him down. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly. Texas A&M going up tempo. From the red zone, looking for a space. Caught behind the line. It's Moss. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. 
Well, he made the grab, but the doors closed quickly after that. And I like this. I want to find my running back, but man, he's got to do a little more damage after the catch. I need, I need a stiff arm. I need a spin move. I need something where he can make that guy miss and keep pick up a bunch of yards and maybe get a big play out of it. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Well, that didn't bust for a long one, but now third down becomes very manageable. It's not third in eternity. Now the whole playbook, short passing game, long passing game, all of it's available. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. Wide receiver shows motion. Scanning the field, it's Wegman. Snags it! And he will score! Touchdown, Aggies! On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they're on top by five. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And the score comes on a five-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. The give on the inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Wants to throw. It's Cook. Feeling some heat. Got rid of it just in time. Yeah, and unfortunately, this guy's been beat like a drum. He's been hit. Sacked a bunch of times already, and another hit right here. I'm, I'm literally looking at my offensive line and be like, dude, I need some more time. you got to protect me better than this. Give me a chance to complete some passes. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Barber. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Everybody talks about getting off to a great start, but if you start building steam, David, that can work too. No doubt, man, and sometimes it snowballs, but what do great teams do? Great teams respond. Struggled the first quarter, Palmer. They've done a great job rebounding and putting some points on the board. You're right. I think they've started to identify the matchups that are in their favor. On this drive, they need to keep attacking, taking advantage of those matchups. They'll line up for a second down play. Off the play fake. He's looking deep. And he's got it inside the 20. And he gets it down to the four-yard line before he's finally stopped a terrific run after the catch. Hey, the defense knew coming into this one this guy was going to be a factor, but they have done nothing to stop him. They don't have any answers. This guy already has over 100 yards receiving, and we're not even done the half. The Aggies will try to punch it in on first and goal. Off the boot, looking for his man. And that one is picked up in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! 
And this defense coming up with points of their own. What an interception return. Dude, you're just thinking, hold them to three, make them kick a field goal, don't let them score points. Heck no, you turn it into offense. What a play. Catches the ball in the end zone. Take a knee, take a knee. No, sir, I'm taking this thing all the way back, 100 yards to the house. What a play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they have a two-point lead. They'll kick it off and send that defense right back out there to try to score again after the pick six. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Finds his man down the middle. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. He lost one down the sideline. And that's going to be incomplete, going for broke on second down, but third down's coming up. Offensive players know where the ball is going. Defensive players don't. Great job by the DB adjusting to the football, seeing it, playing the wide receiver, and making sure he can't catch the football. Fairly manageable distance here on third down from the 27. Back to throw, it's Wegman. Fires to the middle. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Third and short like that on your own side of the field, you're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense and the ball falls incomplete. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Good timing on the quick out. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. QB, excellent location on that throw. Out route against man coverage, you cannot miss. If you throw that behind, that might be a pick six. So nice job by the quarterback with his accuracy. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Looking to move it through the air. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. Ball still at the 45 after the incompletion. They'll snap it second and 10. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. And that pass intercepted. And he will step out of bounds, but what a play to get the ball back for his offense. You know, the best free safeties I ever played against were the ones that just have a sixth sense. It's like they know where the ball is going, and they can just bait the quarterback into trying to make throws that they never have a chance of making. That's what that guy did right there. He baited the QB into a bad decision and made him pay. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum in their favor. Dang right. There's no time to be conserved. If we're a little bit down, listen, I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate some momentum, score some points before going into halftime. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Timeout called by the defense. It's their first of the half as they'll go to the sideline and try to make adjustments. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. 
trying the left side. Offensive coordinators don't really have play sheets for third and 75. Obviously, I'm exaggerating, but when you put yourself in a bad situation, backed up like this, you know, with mistakes and, and negative plays, not many plays in the playbook you can call. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. He's getting plenty of work. Fourth time we've seen this guy punt it today. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Grabbed over the middle. It's Burden. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. First down, 10 yards to go. To the air. It's Cook. Looking for a deep man. Oh, did he toast the coverage? Got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Missouri! What a grab and go for the score. And I, and I love this offense, man. Staying aggressive. Just because you got the lead, you know people can score points in bunches. This offense keeps the foot on the accelerator, scores again on the final play. Now this offense has even more of a cushion going into halftime. PAT unit on the field. The extra point is good, and they have a nine-point lead. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in College Station. Two quarters of both sides feeling each other out. And it's likely to come down to which offense can find a way to generate some big plays. Adjustments will be a part of it. Maybe it's time these typically conservative play callers open up the playbook. Nothing crazy, but a calculated risk here and there to try to gain an edge in what's been a stalemate. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Kyle Field. Missouri will kick it off to open this second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Throws to the wideout. Got his man! And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Really nice job on that play. Quarterback and receiver being on the same page. Quarterback not telegraphing the throw, and the receiver does a nice job finding the soft spot in the defense, just settling down and giving his quarterback a nice target to throw to. Looking for a crease, it's Moss. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. That's a great individual play, and I love cornerbacks that don't just take pride in covering guys. I like guys that like to put their face in the fan and affect the running game. This dude is physical, and he impacts the defense because of it. And those guys are really hard to find. A lot of corners, they're smaller. They don't want any part of the physical run game. Nice job sticking his face in there, setting the edge, making the tackle. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. And the Aggies want to crank the tempo. Dropping back, it's Wegman. They're trying to get to it. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. Well, the defense knew coming into the second half here, they were going to have to crank up the pass rush, right? They've got the lead. They're going to be seeing this quarterback drop back. How can you affect him? You've got to win up front one-on-one -on -one and get home, and they did there on third down.
The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Give to the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. And they knock him down, but he got past the line to gain. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. He'll keep it himself. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Now on second down. Leaves it with the running back. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Now on third down after that run. They'll try to get it through the air. Makes the grab. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. you got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. Missouri comes to the line with another first down. On the move, it's Carroll. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to pass. It's Cook. Fires to the tight end. And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Yeah, nice job by the defense staying glued to him. Getting him on the ground as soon as he catches the football. Knowing he's a threat. I'm not going to let this guy get out of my sights. Nice job by the D. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he ran away from the defense to take it in. Touchdown, Tigers! And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. No backs with the quarterback as they line up for the two. Here's the snap, looking to throw. Makes the grab in the end zone for the two as they extend the lead. So the touchdown drive goes 63 yards. And they finish things off with a scoring toss from the 33. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. 
after giving up that score. Now it's incumbent on this offense to kind of get a back and forth going, Jesse, in this game. They got to put some points on the board here. There's obviously a lot of football to go, so it's not necessarily panic time just yet, but I'm getting the ball into the hands of my best playmakers on this game. Uh, I hear you, Jesse, but not panic time. Have you seen my defense? I, I mean, I'm not trusting them to get a lot of stats, so it puts a lot of pressure on this offense. Looking for a man. It's Wegman. Under heavy pressure, lights it fly. And just not enough field to hold that one. It's incomplete. The bad news on that play, it's an incompletion. The good news is the quarterback knew if his guy wasn't going to catch it, nobody was with that ball landing out of bounds. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Oh, he loves to fire downfield. And the incomplete pass, taking a shot on second down, and they'll be left with a third down. Well, at this juncture in the game, with how the scoreboard looks, no question this offense is going to have to throw to get back in the game. And it's going to be tricky now because the defense is expecting it. You're going to throw into a lot of big zone coverages with everybody's eyes on the quarterback. Not going to be easy. On third down, going up top. They've got the screen set up. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Well, they pick up the first down there on the screen. I love the offensive line there, allowing the pass rush to get way up the field. They completely baited their guys, made them think that they got beaten, that they were going to get the sack, and then they sneak the running back screen right in behind them and pick up the first. Makes the catch. It's Moss. Makes the stop at the 35-yard line. They rip off 15 yards on that one, and they are rolling. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic when he has the ball in his hands. You saw it right there. On the run, it's Moss. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. I think tackling is about effort most of the time. It's about how much passion, how much physicality you can bring to get your guy on the ground. Refuse not to get him on the ground. That's not a big back. You've got to get that guy on the ground. You can't let him pick up an extra couple yards and stay ahead of the sticks. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he's brought down after a nice game. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. A&M comes back out with another first down. Wide out in motion. Calls his own number. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Man, the evolution of the quarterback position. Basically, you should call them running backs who throw the ball really well now. And guys, you know the other thing that happens here is that sets up the next play because you sort of left the defensive line gassed trying to run down the quarterback. Oh, you got to be in shape chasing him around all day on design runs, on scrambles, and, you know, it's just, and the plus. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, and the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, but they still trail 31-21. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they finish it off with the score from the four. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Fielded in the end zone, it's Burks. 
I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. Makes the quick grab. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Wideouts all wadded up in a bunch. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. And, you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long, so that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. He'll pull it on the read. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Nice job playing assignment football by that defensive end. Knowing what my job is, not letting that quarterback get out, get loose, making a good play, and most importantly, being there in the right spot and getting him on the ground. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. Leaves it with the back. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Fires to the wideout. It's caught. Really putting together a threat now. They get the first. It's at the 37. And when you get zone coverage and you're running curls and the wide receiver sprints off the ball, what happens is that DB starts to bail and that wide receiver comes back and it's easy pitch and catch for the offense. It's first down from the 37-yard line. The give to the left. Open space at the 25. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays, then I can play action later on and take shots. But right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing. Fires toward the end zone. And it's a touchdown, but hold on just a second. We'll have to see what the flag's about. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Offense set on first down. Handoff to the lone back. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. After trying the running game, let's see if they do it again on second down. The play action fake. Unloads to the wideout. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. It seemed like there may have been a miscommunication there between the QB and receiver, just not on the same page. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Pocket starts to collapse. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. Defensively, the more speed you have on the field, the better. Not just to cover wide receivers, but when the QB does this and scrambles outside of the pocket, now you've got guys that have really good speed going to catch a quarterback, an athletic quarterback at that. Really nice job by the defense. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle.
So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Looks as if the returner will try and field this one. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. Takes the handoff. It's Carroll. And a pickup of eight opens a world of opportunities on second and two. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And the defense is going to have to have more plays like this. He has had a ball game so far, running wild all day long. Defense finally comes up with a stop. Maybe get a little momentum here. Over 100 yards already in this game. So if I'm on defense here, I'm adding more guys to the box, anticipating that they're going to continue to give this guy touches today. Trying to get to him. He'll pull it down. At the 35, he's got room. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. This quarterback doing a lot of good decision-making on that last play. First off, nice job extending, but then understanding what the coverage was, understanding nobody's open, and then going, hey, look, I can go get this myself, and finally, not only am I going to get this first down, I'm going to take care of myself, too. I'm going to slide. I practiced this all week. A little baseball slide action. We got a fresh set of that. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Motion from the offense. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. It's complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. To the air. It's Cook. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. To the ground with the back. Moves it forward just a bit, a pickup of one to the 35. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. So this offense has the lead. They have the ball. They have the clock on their side and a chance perhaps to put it out of reach. And he finds some solid space, makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop it. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger. Touchdown, Tiger! And they take it in for six more points. That was a great example of a running back toting the rock with conviction. There's not a lot of time to hesitate. If you see a split second, you see a hole, you've got to hit it right now. Nice job by the RB there.
They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point is true, and they have a two-touchdown lead, up 14 in the fourth. The kickoff team out there getting set. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. Pulls it in on the right. Hit the gas, kid, wide open ahead. Touchdown, Aggie! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. Well, if the momentum hadn't shifted before, it certainly has now. It has, and now you got some game pressure, right? That's beautiful. Now the defense comes out, get you a stop, get aggressive, but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side, they could lose this ball game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinator. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it out, it's Johnson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. Mizzou has it back in the offense coming out on the field. Running it to the right. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. If you're the defense, you know that running back is the guy you've now got to stop. He's had a lot of touches in this game. Yes, he's made a lot of plays, but you've got a chance to win here. If you're going to do that, you need to take him away. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Well, they try to go quarterback design run on that play, but the defense just not buying it. Nice job, everybody playing downhill and making a tackle close to the line of scrimmage. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Dropping back, it's Cook. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? So Missouri will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. Texas A&M has it back in the offense ready to go to work. A quick strike touchdown up top the last time they had it, Jesse. They'd love to do it again. No doubt. They've got so many playmakers on the perimeter, David. Just find a way to get these guys the ball in space. And you already started, man. Making that big play, opening up this offense. This quarterback is feeling good about himself. I wouldn't be surprised if they give it right back to him. After the short completion, let's see if they go back to the air. Trying play action. A strike downfield. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. They'll run it from the gun. They get him stopped at the 26, but not before he picks up five yards. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. 
He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle. It's Miller. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Yeah, and tight ends aren't just line up and block guys. These guys are athletes. You line them up all over the field. And nowadays, you can start to feature them more and more in the passing game. Most important part of a clutch drive, piece together some first downs, get in position, and here they are on first and ten. Leaves it with the back. Fights through the pile and picks up a couple down to the 16. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. One back in the backfield. He gets the carry. And he was able to get away from one tackle, but plenty of help was on the way. Decent pickup on that play. I'll tell you what, when those little guys make those physical plays like that, it kind of jacks everybody up in the huddle because it's usually the guy breaking ankles, but he's like breaking tackles. Now he's giving you some serious energy. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Caught near the sticks. It's Daniels. Knocked down after a short game, but enough to move those chains. Perfect timing to call that pass play. It's third and short down here in the red zone. Everybody in the stadium expecting you to run the football, and if you don't get it, maybe you kick a field goal, maybe you go forward on fourth. You don't have to worry about that now because of the pass completion. It's first and goal. A first down run on the doorstep. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. See if they can get it done on second and goal. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Bounced off his feet. And these little touch passes, man, they're just the easiest completions ever for quarterbacks. Palmer, I bet you would have loved being able to just flip it forward. That counts as to your completion percentage, which is good. And then it's all run after the catch. So pretty easy for a QB. You wouldn't have been the only All-American in this booth, David, if I were allowed to put, have push passes <laughs> when I was playing quarterback. I'll tell you that. It is so hard to defend. It's so hard to seal that edge, especially when this guy's full speed ahead coming around the right side. And here's the deal. Fourth quarter, I'm trailing. Fourth and goal, which makes a difference to me because I drove the ball down the field. I've had some success. Do I want to stay aggressive here? This offense is down but has a chance to really put some points on the board and make a little bit of a splash. And this could prove to be the biggest play of the game. They'll go for it on fourth and goal. Coming after it. And he sacked a big play on fourth down to stop this drive. Yeah, that's just a play the quarterback can't make. Fourth down, down by the goal line. That ball's got to find its way in the end zone somehow, some way. You simply cannot take a sack. I know it's difficult. The defense is bearing down on you, but you've got to be able to negotiate that throw and at least give somebody a chance in the end zone. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Navigates that mass of bodies and gets four out to the 17. And ball security at this point is at a premium for this offense. You're backed up in your own end. You've got the lead, so you want to be able to run the football and stay on the field, bleed the clock. But you know the defense is going to be ripping away at it, right? They're going to be trying to get hats to the football and forcing a fumble. So whoever's got the ball has got to have two hands on it this drive. They'll give it to the back. Slams into the pile. He'll get one to the 17. Third and short, they've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. Gives it to the back on the draw. Plows through the defense. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Missouri will have to send out the punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. 
Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. The running back takes his track off right tackle here. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Back to throw. It's Wegman. Quick strike complete. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. I don't love the play call at this juncture in the game. You're down. You've got to take shots. The defense is not going to be blitzing, so these screens probably aren't going to work. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He makes the catch. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. Love the route there by the tight end in man-to-man -man coverage. He's able to separate from the defender, and then once he has the ball, he's able to rip through the tackle and go get more yards. Texas A&M going quickly. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. Not much room. A pickup of two down to the 28. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. They'll run play action. Fires to the big fella. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Not the big fella, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. They're close enough for a makeable field goal from the 26, but they'd love to convert this third and long. He leaves it with his back. Jukes his way for more. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Made a defender miss. He'll be down at the four-yard line after that terrific run. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. And they are looking to pull even with a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Turning to the running game on first and goal. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And if you want to bring all your tight ends in the game, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in more linebackers, more defensive linemen, get ready for the run, less speed on the field, especially when you get down here in the red zone. I feel like I can match up man-to-man -man with those tight ends in the back end. Nice job understanding a run was coming. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Texas A&M. He has spent a lot of time in that end zone today. An absolute assault on the scoreboard. No doubt about it. And guess what? I get to make a lot of highlights. I, I can copy and paste all of these touchdowns, show everybody the game I had and the defense. Well, you just have to shake your head because you've been getting dominated. Lining up to add another. And that extra point was good, and we are deadlocked here in the fourth. That last drive covered 52 yards on their way to the score. And they punctuated it with a five-yard touchdown run. Coming down the stretch in the fourth, and we are all tied up, about set to kick it away. And it'll come out to the 25, no attempt at a return. Missouri has the offense ready to go on the field. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. 
Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around and make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense creating the tackle for a loss on first down. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. They go to the ground. And they swarm him under. Listen, in these situations, it's so hard to push the ball down the field because the defense is playing pass. We bring in more DBs. We're, we're dropping deeper on our, in our coverage, and we're making you throw the ball underneath or run the football. Nice job by the running back. Listen, he got good yards. He didn't get the first down, but now he's in a situation where third down becomes something where it's not predictable. Now it's a situation where they can go out and have success. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. Looking for room. It's Carroll. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Off play action. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And perhaps a touchdown saving tackle as he gets him down at the 37. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. The clock stops. Two minutes left to play in this one. And the Tigers are rolling down the field. To the air on first down. Using the quick game. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. You're seeing a lot of confidence out of this quarterback now. Three for three on this two-minute drive. He understands that he needs to step up if his team's going to win this game. He's playing his best football right now. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Here's the handoff. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. You know, they pride themselves on being physical at the point of attack, dominating at the line of scrimmage. Nice job there picking up the first down. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. The defense is going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Not many hiccups on this drive, but it's second and 13 now. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. They run into a bit of trouble here, third and long from the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The offense uses a timeout to stop the clock, and they'll get a quick breather. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. It's good. And with just over a minute to play, they have taken the lead. Well, the offense and special teams did their job, right? Here late in the fourth quarter, they put themselves now in position to win this game. It all comes down to the defense. Can they deliver? If they get the stop, they win this game.
So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. He's going up top here late in the game. And it falls incomplete, and the offense is lucky to have it. Defender right there almost had it in his grasp. Man, you know the defensive coordinator on that play was holding his breath because in the fourth quarter, you've got one of the fastest players in the game going deep on you. And that's going to be a helmet sticker for somebody. Like, forcing an incompletion against that guy? That's incredible. Looking to throw, it's Wegman. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Good job by the receiver there not to run into coverage, but to find a spot that the quarterback can throw him the ball. Yeah, on those types of routes, Reese, they say if you're looking, you're booking. So if that's man coverage, the receiver's staring at the quarterback all the way across the field. That time, the receiver didn't give the quarterback his eyes, so they were on the same page. They both knew it was zone, and they executed that perfectly. He's trying to get them set quickly. They have to get the ball into field goal range. Wants to fire on second down. Rolls it in. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. Everybody has to be set. They have to get it off. He'll spike the ball to try to save every precious second he can. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. On second down, looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Thomas. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Well, I know it's early in the drive, but we've got less than a minute to go here. We've got to be more aggressive. We've got to take some shots and put some pressure on the defense. 